Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you most common feature used in surface modeling and I will focus on the logic how to use the curvature and tangency and, and some example. I will create something, yeah, we can start from scratch and we will create a model, the surf and confirm OK. Yeah. What does it mean? The system will load the default template for the 3D model and we can start to create some feature. So okay, we'll start with extrude feature and I would like to start to use the surface modeling. So if we will select the sketch plane over here, we will create a simple arc and base it on some dimension here. You can change it as you need. For now it's good and maybe I can choose that I would like to use the symmetric. You can again set up your custom value. For this example, doesn't matter if it's 5 or 55. Good. We can continue and I'd like to create some sketch because in future we would like to use some additional feature, for example, extend and round and so on. So we would like to use the sketch and over here will be sketch plane and middle button for the confirmation. Here I'd like to create some shape so for example like this again you can specify dimension you can use the center line create the symmetric feature and use the constraints if you would like to know more how to create a sketch perfectly please check my previous tutorial and if i will come from ok right now we would like to the show or see this sketch and in my preference the system automatically hide this sketch so i can unhide yeah or hide so depends how we would like to manage. Yeah, over here. And I'd like to project the sketch over here to, so you can select the created curve and then system allow to you to use the projection. So if the system ask for the select the surface over here, left hand side is the select the surface, the system automatically select the Direction. If you don't like it, you can use your custom direction selection this reference. If I will come from OK, the curve is there. And for example, I'd like to use the trim functionality. So we will select the surface. We will use the trim functionality. And the system again ask you select the curve or chain and so on. In the dynamic preview, you can see what the system will leave. So you can change the orientation and decide what you need. I mentioned that I'd like to speak about some additional feature, for example, the extent functionality. You can see here that if I will select the edge, system allow to me to use the flyout menu and use the function extent, or you can jump here and use directly from the ribbon, it's up to you. And you can see it is possible to use the extent and if you will change the reference, the system automatically change the reference for you. It's up to you. Yeah, what you would like to or how you would like to change it. But in the better example, I'd like to focus on the bottom edges. And we can see here that it's possible to create again from this created sketch some additional feature. For example, fill feature. So the system will automatically fill, close the loop, and the additional surface is created. On this example, it will be better to explain to extend features. So for example, we would like to ex extend it into one direction with some dimensions. Yeah, for example, like this, and then continue with the additional side. So I will select again, extend, but you can see that it's possible to extend, yeah? But I like to use the functionality at additional point. And the placement of this point will be at the end. And I'd like to move it here with some preference value. And over here, I'd like to use the zero. OK, I, right now I will use the 40 because I'd like to use the same from the opposite side. Again, the same functionality and logic. So please jump into measurements at additional points and move the points 
set the dimension as you need. So we would like to don't I don't want to add material, I would like to remove so minus 40 on opposite direction and everything is fine. Okay, looks good. So you can imagine that on this empty space I'd like to create some really nice surface. But what you miss is the round. So you can try to use this feature round, but system cannot select the surface. So, but what I would like to use is the surface vertex round. If you don't know where it is placed in your ribbon, no problem. You can select the command search. You can write, for example, round and try to have a look. And if you wait with the mouse, the system will show you where your feature is used or placed. And then you can directly select from this menu or jump where it's placed. And over here I'd like to create some round feature on the surface. So you can see the system allow to you to create the rounds. And for example, 44 is good enough for this example. And on the bottom I'd like to use it one more time with something smaller. Yeah, be careful because over there cannot be the intersection of the entities. But fine. So set your custom dimensions. And now what we are miss is a couple of missing edges and curve, which will be the definite of our profile. Okay, we can have a look and we can try how it looks like. So if I will select boundary blend, you know that it's possible to select more than one edges with the shift button. So right now I'm holding the shift button and then if I would like to select the second chain I will select control button yeah be careful yeah that we have to be careful what you select so you can use the go back and move mouse the system will show you whole chain but you can select right mouse button and system allow to you to select only part of the edge and again it's the possible to select references and trim at necessary connection. Yeah, so over here. And then with the shift button, you can continue of the selection. So you can see here that these top edges are a little bit complicated for selection. So for the beginners, I prefer to select edge first, then select the boundary and then with shift button you can continue so you can see that right now the system allowed you to select it in the opposite direction yeah and the system do not select whole chain and then with the shift button the first curve and with the control button you can select the second one and with shift button you can continue yeah so right now i will select everything and you can try yeah you can try how it looks like if I will select the tangent and yes it looks perfect yeah so it's good and again over here I can select the tangent edges if I will finish you can see that system creates for me a lot of surfaces over here is the question if it is possible to create much smoothly you can select the definition and we can jump into control points and if I will select control points, the system automatically show me that this point is possible to connect over here. And again, you can continue, select the additional point and select where you would like to place. And again, you can continue and the system will create for you really, really nice shape and it will be placed as you need. Okay, great. We can try. So, for example, if we would like to hide some couple of curves, because right now it will be better for the visualization. So, for example, this projection I can hide and right now looks really, really nice. Good. We can continue with some analysis and check the curvature or shaded curvature. If I will check the shaded curvature, you can select the surfaces and the system will show you how the system looks like yeah so tangent edges and the dimensions and sometimes these 
analysis or coral scheme is not suitable because you have a low value or bigger value so maybe it will be better if you will use the reflection and with the reflection of the zebra you will see how the system is connected and right now you can see that system is connected really smoothly between surfaces what was created in the one feature but over here is not so nice and if I will spin a little bit you can see that is a little bit confused yeah it's not continuously connected and I always compare it that for example if you have a look on the car and the car is really nice shaped so we would like to have the same result so really really nice shape if I will use the zebra reflection how to change it you can jump into boundary blend I will edit and over here I'd like to use the curvature and what does it mean curvature if you imagine that you have a radius and you would like to do it opposite so system will derive it and uh, create really nice smoothly radius so in reality you can imagine that is one slash r as the radius yeah it's not tangent but it's the curvature and again over here i'd like to use the curvature so system will change the tangency and will be really smooth connection to the previous surface and if i will finish and right now if i will use the same analysis so reflection and you can see right now that connection between two surfaces is always really smooth yeah so the shape what we have been created is really nice connected and over here differences between two connected surfaces are really nice and really smooth good so over here was the explanation or practical example how to create the surface and define the curvature between specified boundary blend and existing edges and so on i hope so that you like this example share it with your colleagues like tutorial and see you later bye bye Vladimir.